This program contains experiments which are performed by professionals. These tests are dangerous and may involve the use of hazardous materials. They should not be performed or imitated under any circumstances. Leave the deconstruction to us. We have insurance. The LCD television. It has a liquid crystal screen that displays 60 images each second in 17 million colors. To do that, it sends rays of light through the screen's pixels toward the viewer. The challenge, controlling this light to create these images. To get the job done, the television bends that light with a very special fluid, liquid crystals. Bending light? Okay, but how does that work? The LCD screen television. Fluorescent tubes. The actual screen. Polarizing filter number one. A layer of liquid crystals. Pixels. They make up each point of the image displayed on the screen. And finally, polarizing filter number two. When the television is on, light from the tubes flow through the screen toward the viewer. The pixels color the light like so many tiny pieces of stained glass. Each pixel is made up of three sub-pixels, a red one, a green one, and a blue one. With just these three basic colors, the screen can produce 17 million colors. How? By controlling the quantity of light that flows through each pixel, the television can create 17 million combinations of these three basic colors. And that means 17 million colors. The question is, how does the television control the quantity of light that goes through each subpixel? To answer the question, we'll have to blow the TV up. The fluorescent tubes provide the light that will flow through the screen toward the viewer. First thing to know, light, no matter its source, always has a direction. And because it's an electromagnetic wave, it also has an orientation. A light ray can be vertical, horizontal, or any angle in between. That's important because the first polarizing filter's job is to let only vertical light rays through. These rays flow through the liquid crystals, then each subpixel, until they reach the second polarizing filter, which only lets horizontal rays through. In other words, if the subpixels are constantly flooded by light from the fluorescent tubes, this light cannot reach the viewer. The screen stays black. It's up to those liquid crystals to twist the light so it can make it through the second polarizing filter. The liquid crystals are a very particular fluid. Their molecules behave just like a liquid. They can move and change places at all times. But like in all crystals, their orientation, how they align at a given time, remains the same. And here's another thing. Liquid crystals are sensitive to electric fields, which can change that orientation. As it happens, on each side of the layer of liquid crystals, there's a transparent electrode grid. The electrodes make it possible to control very precisely the orientation of the liquid crystals behind each subpixel. The liquid crystal molecules act like tiny lenses that twist the light. Liquid crystal makes it possible to control the orientation of light and therefore the quantity of light for each subpixel. That light can then flow through the second polarizing filter and reach the viewer. The LCD television. Because of two polarizing filters that oppose one another, no ray of light should be able to flow through it. But thanks to those liquid crystals that act like tiny lenses, they can twist that light and control exactly how much light flows through the screen. 
And that's how it lights up each point on the screen.